CrowdStrike Falcon Sensor provides the capability to block ransomware with Falcon Prevent, our next generation antivirus. In this detection, the sensor identifies maze ransomware via machine learning and thus blocks and quarantines the malware. Further detection details provide attribution to the threat actor, Twisted Spider. This is an e-criminal followed by our threat intel team. The malware is also automatically uploaded to the Falcon X sandbox for further analysis. Let's take a look at the sandbox report and the detailed analysis it provides beyond what is included with the detection. Now, as we would expect, it's associated with maze ransomware and the, the threat actor Twisted Spider, but we're also provided with details around a risk assessment and the MITRE attack tactics and techniques seen during detonation, as well as behavioral threat indicators. Additional information is provided regarding network activity. These IP addresses can be passed off to the networking team. And finally, let's take a look at the Twisted Spider profile. It illustrates the target nations and target industries, as well as the vulnerabilities that Twisted Spider likes to exploit, including identifying where these are present in the organization's environment. So in summary, where Falcon Prevent Sensor is deployed, Maze was blocked from execution, and the organization is provided with additional protections from Falcon X Sandbox Report, and the threat actor profile. So now let's consider what happens on endpoints where Falcon sensor is not deployed. In order to fully protect against ransomware like Maze, you need to consider BYOD, contractor, and vendor scenarios where there is no Falcon Protect on the endpoint. Falcon Identity Protection can see the same activity on Active Directory domain controllers, identifying Maze and other ransomware type attacks as they authenticate to the domain, either locally or in the cloud. The technique used by Maze operator uses valid credentials that log into the network via internet-facing servers usually either through an open RDP, Citrix, or VPN server. Throughout the compromise, most of the malicious activities executed using those valid credentials, which Falcon Identity Protection can see, as demonstrated here within our Threat Hunter, where we can see all authentications across Active Directory. Currently, I'm filtering to only see domain logons and RDP events. The malware steals credentials in various ways. It uses tools like Mimikatz to harvest cached domain credentials and later performs identity-based attacks like Pass the Hash or NTLM Relay. Maze also attempts to find passwords that are stored in local drives, sometimes engaging in attacks to compromise accounts with weak passwords using brute force and credential scanning techniques. The good news is that identity protection can detect and stop Maze and other ransomwares. This is done by learning the behavior of all credentials, monitoring network traffic, and detecting malicious activity in real time. With identity protection policies, we can define custom conditional access rules to block or trigger multi-factor authentication based on changing behavior and increasing risk, allowing you to proactively stop malicious activity in real time. Additionally, this deterministic approach reduces user friction when employees are legitimately accessing applications and network resources. For example, this rule here will force MFA using Okta Verify for anyone accessing our critical servers, but only when this is outside of their normal behavior, referred to as their baseline. We can also trigger MFA based on risk levels as well. Maze often starts with a bloodhound attack where it looks for other credentials on the domain and attempts various forms of takeover like brute force and dictionary attacks. Additionally, it scans files for plain text passwords and looks for service accounts with simple passwords that compromise and use to launch the next phase of attacks. Identity protection will get an alert in the Falcon console whenever it senses bloodhound or other credential searching behaviors, as well as whenever it detects any identity-based attacks against any of your domains. To prevent this malicious activity, Falcon Zero Trust offers policies that are simple to configure, which can automatically block or force MFA based on identity, behavior, and risk. Here we're looking at an identity-based incident that has occurred in our network, where multiple attacks were detected from one PC. It started with a suspicious domain replication, then a golden ticket attack, followed by the running of the zero logon exploit, which created an anomalous RPC alert. Additionally, when the attacker tried to move laterally to another server, a policy rule forced MFA before allowing it to occur, and since the real account owner denied the identity verification via the MFA on their phone, this lateral movement was blocked. As in many security scenarios, the best defense is good system and credential prevention, which includes finding and improving issues like weak passwords, knowing privileged accounts, and identifying service accounts wherever they are in use. Then you can segment and control your BYOD contractors and vendors and limit their credentials ability to travel sideways through your network or access sensitive systems, data stores, or workloads. This insight section is where we show the results of the automatic and continual assessment of the security hygiene of your Active Directory domains and here we have a list of all of our privileged accounts with the compromised passwords. 
meaning their password exists and have I been pawned or within a custom uploaded file. One of our contractors, John Marshall, is on the list, and he'll be affected by a policy rule we have in place that forces MFA for any contractor with a compromised password when they're accessing one of our critical servers. Let me show you what this would look like to John when he attempts to RDP to one of these servers. So I'm going to RDP as John Marshall, the contractor with a compromised password, to one of our servers on that list. Now he gets on his phone, and until I hit yes, it's being held up. Now we let the connection through. Now John Marshall can go on about his way. With that, we'll end this short demonstration of just some of the amazing features of CrowdStrike Zero Trust, which is the industry's only cloud-native solution to stop breaches in real time for any endpoint, workload, or identity.